Hello world, we are playing Castle Crushers, if you cannot already tell by the title. We've already played through this a couple of times, and we will be giving you the best strategies to defeat the bosses. Like, the first boss you fight is more of a ram, but not very much of a boss, but more like a semi boss. And the most menacing boss of all, the corn on the carved bar. We, will, we have completed the game a couple of times, using my characters. I'm the one on the right, my brother is the one on the left. I'll be the best knight, Green Knight. If you disagree, leave a comment. I don't really care. Green Knight is the best to me. My brother will be Blue Knight. Okay, we're going to that little frog guy to show you our like our weapons and our I have Troll who restores your health. My brother has Giraffe who helps you level up faster. As you can see by the chalkboard. I have the fire sword, which will sometimes set people on fire. My brother has the ice sword, which will sometimes freeze enemies. These are all our animals: like zebra, elephant, pig, bat, ram, spiky guy, weird ghost thing, toad, seahorse, snail, a bipolar bear, a weird yeti, which I call a rabbit squirrel, a regular bear, a cat, another cat, monkey, cat again. Dog, floating eyeball that you get in a silver level, magic, uh, this guy that includes magic, I'm not going to go near him because that will make me a pet, and you unlock, you get him by going into this vault door here, but you have to get a special key for that, and that's Dragon Breath, who shoots fireballs at you. Okay, so let's start the adventure. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to clean up here and I like it nice and tight. And the fruit that you get is more malicious. <laughs> okay, we've actually got quite a lot of weapons. You we don't really use any of them because that's the key sword that you use to get the magic monster. And the evil rod is that evil guy. Unicorn, slab of meat, lobster, umbrella, ice sword. And the fire sword, it looks kind of pink here, it's actually orange. And these four weapons here are actually bought, courtesy of my brother. Lollipop, mom. Oh, actually, the, oh, sorry, it's not the spear, it's the chainsaw, that sword, that, and the lollipop. Let's go. And we will start from the home castle first level. I'm shaking this, and we'll start from home castle. <coughs> and that is the mega evil villain. He's actually really evil, I don't like him. I will burn him to death with my bad sword. It's actually his sword, I saw it on him. Um, now these are like the first enemies you'll ever encounter and they're like the easiest to defeat if you play this, if you complete the game and play it again. Because you can easily kill them in one hit. See so mother just decapitated one. It's quite funny. Both of four princesses you will eventually save. You save the red princess first. You save them by fighting the barbarian boss. Stand on either side and they jump out and we kill them both. All three of them actually. So follow the out pan thing. That doesn't move a thing in life. Coins, only one more. It's a good thing we have like five potions already. Because if you die, you can instantly be healed again. If there's more than one of you more than like if there's if you die and there's still someone alive, if you have a potion, you will heal again. Why I have five sandwiches because they're bulky. You can see the arrows, a shovel, and this one, which I'll explain later on. 
Okay, looks like they're very in the wall. Smoke clouds. scavenger guide is if you're playing it like the first time around it will be the where you get your first bow and arrow well, not first bow and arrow but your only bow and arrow and it will stay with you throughout the entire game it's a very faithful bow if it had a mine it would want to mine mine heal 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 good like that can't even hit him until he gets the <coughs> banana um, the first, the, the semi boss, the ram. You want to avoid his cannons and hopefully try and do that. You've already beaten him quite quickly. Stop, we're going to stop hitting him for a bit to show you what else these attacks are. He sometimes stops here and will go up like that. That's when you should really hit because he'll send out like barbarians, which are like the first enemies, which are quite easy to do again, as I said before. <laughs> jumping on the corpse of a ram that's continuously burned, it will burn forever. Even though it's kind of made out of wood and that should eventually burn out, but it won't. Okay, trees will give you apples or any other fruit or maybe even chicken, I don't know. I don't know the chances for things, maybe you could look up somebody else for that. Now these guys are sleeping and they're quite easy to see if because, they're, because they're sleeping. Okay, here we will fight the first boss. Well, there is an achievement for competing with some like. From, fir from the first level to the barbarian boss, there isn't you for not killing anybody. Obviously, you can't do that without having another person there. I think my brother's already got that achievement thanks to me and my other brothers. If you think that's bad, wait until you see this one. The biggest and worst of the barbarians, but easy to please because of our magic level. As you can see, we've pretty much already killed him. We have, and then he gets squashed by a treasure chest. Treasure! I'm not going to get the treasure, I let my brother get the treasure, that's why he's got now six thousand, over 6,000 gold. He'll never run out of money, probably. And then I cut the princess down, maybe. <laughs> and then we fight to the death of the princess. Now I have poison, so it's quite fun because I, think, like, I leave them damaged for a little while. They slowly lose lots of health. Well, not lots of it, but Ow. Don't jump on my corpse. It's still kind of alive. Okay, and we will leave you with my brother. Kissing. A princess. 